Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Our lecture today about nuchal translucency. Nuchal translucency is the sonographic appearance of a collection of fluid under the skin behind the fetal neck in the first trimester of pregnancy. The term translucency is used irrespective of whether it is septated or not and whether it is confined to the neck or envelops the whole fetus. In fetuses with chromosomal abnormalities, cardiac defects, and many genetic syndromes, the nuchal translucency sickness is increased. Screening by nuchal translucency can detect about 80% of fetuses with trisomy 21 and other major aneuploids for a false positive rate of 5%. The combination of nuchal translucency and the maternal serum-free beta-human chorionic gonadotrophin and pregnancy-associated plasma protein A improves the detection to 90%. There is now evidence that the detection rate can increase to about 90% and false positive rate can be reduced to 3% by also examining the nasal bone ductus venosus flu and tricuspid flu. Protocol for measurement of nuchal translucency The gestational period must be 11 to 13 weeks and 6 days. The fetal crown ramp length should be between 45 and 84 millimeters. The magnification of the image should be such that the fetal head and thorax occupy the whole screen. A mid-sagittal view of the face should be obtained. This is defined by the presence of the echogenic tip of the nose and the rectangular shape of the palate anteriorly, the translucent diencephalon in the center, and the nuchal membrane posteriorly. Minor deviations from the exact midline plane would cause non-visualization of the tip of the nose and the visibility of the maxilla. The fetus should be in the neutral position with the head in line with the spine. When the fetal neck is hyperextended, the measurement can be falsely increased, and when the neck is flexed, the measurement can be falsely decreased. Care must be taken to distinguish between fetal skin and amnion. The widest part of translucency must always be measured. Measurements should be taken with the inner borders of the horizontal line of calibers placed on the line that defines the nuchal translucency thickness. The crossbar of the caliber should be such that it is hardly visible as it merges with the white line of the border, not in the nuchal fluid. In magnifying the image, pre or post freeze zoom, it is important to turn the gain down. This avoids the mistake of placing the caliber on the fuzzy edge of the line, which causes an underestimate of the nuchal measurement. During the scan, more than one measurement must be taken, and the maximum one that meets all the above criteria should be recorded in the database. The umbilical cord may be around the fetal neck in about 5% of cases, and this finding may produce a falsely increased nuchal translucency. In such cases, the measurements of nuchal translucency above and below the cord are different, and in the calculation of risk, it is more appropriate to use the average of the two measurements.